Okay, this is the uh, Advanced Guard from Machine Art Moto. I prefer the lighting upstairs, so we're doing this upstairs, and then I'll install it downstairs, obviously. This box is massive, so here's my, here's my arm. Uh, really big for hand guards. Um, I should disclose that I got a, uh, a customer loyalty discount on this for $25 off for uh, basically buying the rest of the stuff they make for my bike, so um, just I should disclose that. I guess there's some kind of federal trade thing where I have to disclose promotions and stuff, even though it wasn't a gift or anything, I did pay for it. Um, instructions, you know, four pages. It looks like the first one is just a parts list. Uh, there's a couple of, there's kit one, two, and three for different bikes. This is kit one for the GSLC. And then we've got uh, two pages here. Most of it's uh, noise from the fit kit one, two, and three. Oh, the back page is the warranty. Uh, let's take this guy apart. Got those two pieces there. Uh, just the end caps for the bike, some additional bolts, and in this side, very well packaged, uh, some plastic caps. But all the machine moto stuff has been really very well packaged, very thoughtful design. And let's just look real quick before we get on stairs at the um, the guards themselves. There's the guard. Um, you've got a circle in here that allows you to uh, take this piece out, I guess. This loosens up so you can go, ah, there you go, so you go all the way up, all the way down. So this is your winter mode, so you can tighten this up. Oh, it goes even higher. There we go, there's all the way up, just like this, and then all the way down, like that. We'll go all the way up and we'll lock it out. So it appears that part will stay with the bike, up or down. There's my winter mode. Uh, oh, and then it looks like, I guess I can remove that all the way out because then I can pop out this center piece. Let's just do that before I end this video. So do I unscrew? These pieces don't come out, it looks like. They just completely unscrew and stay in there. Yeah, there we go. So take the winter piece out. Now you're in uh, spring and fall mode. This thing is a heavy duty piece of aluminum. It's not bending. On the back here, we've got some uh, clips for these things. So I imagine if you hit two of them, you'll probably be able to take this thing out. Nope, you gotta hit all four. There we go. So from the back here, I just use my thumbs and I just hit this on both sides. It pops right out. So now you've got your summer mode. So still very heavy duty, really, really hard, um, but a lot more airflow for those hot days. And then we won't really get in New Hampshire very much. So I'll probably end up running with this uh, year round and pop that back in. And then you see on the back here, you've got the screw and the screw here for your uh, winter piece. So I'll stick that back in and then we will uh, end it here. All right, this is our bike with the OEM hand guards. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the OEM hand guards. So we've got a uh, bolt over here. We've got a, uh, like a T225 or T30 over here. And then uh, we might have to extend this up into um, this bolt here. He's removing the um, mirror and uh, unscrewing this as well. But we'll get to there in a second. All right, so once you've gotten the uh, this piece off here on the side, um, you've got the T, looks like it was a T25 on the front there. Um, you have to remove the uh, the top mirror, then you just slide this and shimmy it right off that hinge, just like that. So that's now off. And uh, I guess we're the other side too while we're at it. So, piece is off there, just shimmy, and we're off. So you've got these various fit kits that come with the set here. Ignore the oil, that's for the uh, snow blower. Um, so each bag has its own fit kit that comes in the bag right here. Uh, so this one is one side, and then this one is the other side, basically. I can pull it higher. There we go. So this bag has obviously empty now, as I used it, but here's a complete bag. You've got three parts in there, plus the single screw. Uh, what you're gonna do, if I can get this on camera here, is you've got this bottom piece that goes underneath the handlebars. This piece is gonna go right on top, just like that. And then you've got this other piece that will slide in. It's very hard to mess it up it slides in only one direction and that's where um, the machine out moto guard's gonna go 
the one screw that comes in the little baggie, that's the screw that comes underneath that tightens this piece down once you've got the right height. So you either have far away or close by. There's two screw holes in the bottom of this thing here. So I'll start close by for mine. I'll go ahead and pre-screw it in to get it loaded up. And then uh, we'll go over to the bike and we will get it um, uh, installed on the bike. So uh, we've got these that are almost full circles. And we've got others which are um, half circles that come together like that. Um, and then finally we've got our bar ends right here and then longer bolts here which we'll get into in a few minutes. So I'll go to the bike and we'll figure out how this all fits together. Before we proceed, how do you know if you have the correct side that you're about to mount? Well, you can see because you're going to put this on the end here and the flap will be pointed up in the air, the flap that goes up. The flap's pointed down then you know you're on the wrong side. I learned that the hard way the first time. <clears throat> For the GSA, they're saying to reuse the stock bolt and the stock spacer, which is probably why I saw that gap there. And then we're going to use their new uh, bit here on the outside. So um, we may not actually, but it looks like we're going to use this, take this out, put this through just like that. That looks about right to me. Yep. All right. They've got this little triangle right there facing up and forward. You're tightening these down so it doesn't move, but the uh, the flange, the outside of the spacer, the top end, it does point out. And then we've got this bottom piece here, and we didn't tighten this, this bottom bolt down either. Uh, we're going to try now, see if we can get this fitted without um, making any major changes. Okay, so um, I'm following their bolt pattern here, which is to use the OEM bolt with their included uh, metal piece here, but then use the OEM spacer. And I'm just going to... Uh, Get this staged first. So screwing this in by hand. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was wrong on the fitment. It's just the the spacer it needs to be used. So as far as this goes, you can see this or not, but uh, this is just a little too short. So we're going to move this down a little bit, which is why you only hand tighten it. Okay, so now we're going to. Uh, line this up and get it through the hole here that goes there this is so well thought out and well designed it just looks fantastic i don't need to go up there though of course all right we're going to uh I'll give you guys a quick tour of what it looks like there it is from the rear you've got the uh bolt holding it in there you've got these two around the back right here underneath that's the angle and if you look up top, you have this clearance is perfect there. And then around the very front, this is the um, the front orientation like that. I think it's huge. It's gonna be great for uh, blocking the wind on the highway in the very cold winters and then off road. I'm gonna love it. For those that are not quite sure how things fit together, I'm going to take a break from uh, tightening down the passenger side of the um, the hand guards, and I'm going to switch over to the driver's side, or my left hand if you're facing forward driving the motorcycle. Uh, so we'll flip this around a little bit. So uh, here's my left hand right here, squeezing in the clutch lever. You have um, this piece here in the handlebars, just like that. This is coming out. And then you've got the outside here through just like this. You're reusing the OEM bolt, you're reusing the OEM spacer, but you're using their uh, piece, this silver piece here, you're using that for a machine art moto through just like this. You've got your adjustments right here, and then you've got your uh, bit here. Actually, this should be on the, this uh, uh, top part should be on the outside with the um, triangle that's cut out facing up and away from you. All right, so I'm gonna start with a thread locker on this uh, bolt on the outside. This outside bolt is a T50. We're gonna take this loose. No. 
Okay, this is all in place. So we'll drop this down and start the process of tightening the top of the clamp down. That's not going anywhere. So, just gonna back out here a little bit. And, uh, there we go. So, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, that is perfect. Truly perfect. So, we've got the um, this fully mounted. Uh, if we want to, we can turn these bits of bolts a bit, lift that up into the high position. Really, really insane coverage. That's not, um, that's moving, this isn't completely tightened down yet. There we go, that's solid. Wow. That is some really insane coverage, seriously. And then if I undo these completely, which will be pretty rare for me, honestly. This comes right out. These do not fall out. These uh, three bolts in here, they stay in for storage reasons. And then I've got this mode like this. And then if I want to, pop these out just like that and we've got uh, this coverage here wow that is fantastic I mean it just feels good it's strong it's not too heavy it looks really good I mean this is really really a plus top-notch looking stuff here I'm probably gonna end up painting this black um, for my own aesthetics but pops right in so it's going to get cold outside, drop this guy in there, and li literally, you're watching me do this for the first time on the bike in real time here. Just going to put this here, line up those screws, same thing over here, you just look for the hole, and twist a few times. And you've got this back into motion there, and you tie it down, and you are back to the previous setting. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, pretty easy to install the mirror again, so let's switch over to the other side, and we'll do that side. And uh, I won't talk for this part. I'll just uh, do the fast-forward thing like I did with the head, head cover cards. So you see the process, but I'm not going to talk over it.
Okay guys, well that's it for this video. These are the Machine Art Moto Advanced Guards for the R1200 GS liquid cooled. Uh, they're beautiful, they're really rugged, um, extremely hard. I mean they're just you know hard metal reinforced with um, you know really serious mounts at both sides. You've got the mounts on this side right here, not going anywhere, and then you've got the stock OEM bolts over here, locked headed down on both sides. They really are gorgeous. They come up pretty darn high. So three bolts and you're up. So you've got additional uh, coverage here against the elements. I'll show you, uh, let's back up here. I'll show you the side by side. There's the up position for uh, wind and such. And then the low position. Let's get lower on the bike. You can see here just how massive that is. Um, much larger than the stock guards, um, in my opinion, much stronger than Bark Busters because Bark Busters have the, the standard one piece aluminum uh, across the way and then the plastic shroud and this is aluminum the whole way around. Uh, just the, the guard is the uh, structure of the whole assembly. So now, just easy as uh, grabbing these um, ram ball mounts and we're going to put our uh, uh, double take adventure mirrors back on. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ride safe, and you can grab these at Machine Art Moto's website. Take care.